I'm sure, I'm sure it varies, and you've done this uh, a handful of times over the course of your career, but what's what's kind of the learning curve you have to be cognizant of as a veteran quarterback when you're breaking in rookie receivers and tight ends? Yeah, just figuring out those guys. You know, we're, uh, we're all learning new, right? So I'm learning, learning them as players, as people. They're learning us as people, as coaches, as – as teammates and they're learning a new playbook as well. So uh, really just trying to catch those guys up to, up to speed with the way we do things around here, uh, what we expect. And then um, as a quarterback, I'm trying to trying to help them see the way the game, see the game the way that I see it, you know, just coaching them through routes, what I'm expecting adjustments on, on different routes, uh, varying by coverage on what they're seeing. So uh, there's a lot of information that they're taking in right now. And it's just a matter of, being able to uh, to learn a little bit each and every day and then keep pushing forward. And then without Corey and John, how do, how do you anticipate coverage is going to change for AJ and what are the kind of challenges there? Yeah, you know, AJ is not going to sneak up on anybody. Uh, everyone kind of knows uh, the talent he has and, and what he brings to the table. So uh, it's going to be a big opportunity for, for the other guys that we have um, to find opportunities to, to get open. Um, AJ will continue to, to do his thing. Uh, we'll have to be creative and and finding ways to uh, to make sure he gets his opportunities. But uh, like I said, you know, teams are going to account for AJ. It's going to be a, a team effort on, and details by us to make sure that we uh, do everything we can to uh, to put him in good positions and then execute when we get there. Thanks. Kayla. Hey, Ryan, good to see you. Um, just like last season coming into the year, uh, you had mentioned you had gotten some work with some of the guys, um, you know, away from Nashville. Were you able to do that with any of, of the players headed into this season? Um, I threw with guys, yeah, none, none of the guys that, uh, that are on this team. Um, but, yeah, I was able to get some work in, you know, throughout this spring. Uh, then uh, it's another reason why I'm, why I'm here right now, so I, that I'm able to uh, – to work with all the guys that we have here and um, you know we have so many new faces around here just to be able to, to learn them as, as players as people and start putting some work in and understanding it the way that they move out on the field and, and work on the timing and everything also wanted to ask you about anthony ferkser and obviously he's shown he can he can be a reliable target um what kind of growth does he need to have this year or just continued progress um with him kind of being that guy right now yeah, Ferk's done a great job for us. You know, just needs to stay on track with, with what he's been doing. You know, he's, he's working extremely hard. Um, you know, this, this spring has been really good for him. You know, he's got a lot of good work in even before I got here. I uh, was watching tape and, and how he's been working. He's been working extremely hard. So, you know, happy for him and um, really just needs to keep, keep doing what he's doing and pressing and getting better. Ron. Yeah, Ryan, one of the pluses that you've mentioned multiple times with Arthur Smith was that synergy and, and how you guys were able to connect and be on the same page. How important is it for you to do that with Todd Downing? And how is that coming along? And, and what are some of the things you guys are doing to, to develop that? Yeah, no doubt it's important. I think uh, when, a, when a quarterback and a play caller can, can be on the same page and, and see things the same way, you know, it's going to be a, a beneficial thing. So um, I definitely started off on the right foot, you know, we're heading in the right direction. So I have a long way to go. Um, but, you know, Todd's not a new face for me. I've seen Todd and worked with Todd a little bit over the past couple of years. I talked, talked football with him before. So it's not um, like I'm working with somebody that I've never um, met before or spoken to before. You know, we, we had a lot of conversations about the games and, and concepts and uh, routes and everything like that. So uh, just being able to take what we've done over the past few years, kind of transition to a new role and um, I think grow, grow in that, grow our relationship and, and continue to, uh, to figure out what works best for us working together. Jim Wyatt. Ron, what do you think about, I guess, Ron, uh, Josh Reynolds, his kind of, uh, I guess, work in the NFL so far, and then your first early impressions of some of the new guys, whether it's Des Fitzpatrick or Racy McMath from, uh, you know, from early on. Yeah, Josh has had a, had a great career so far. You know, uh, an A&M guy, I've, I've been a fan uh, since he was back at, at College Station playing at A&M. Kind of followed him out to the Rams and and uh, would you know root for him anytime he, he was making plays. So uh, I know kind of what he brings to the table. Obviously, talented, tall, rangy, um, great hands. So excited for for him to join the team. Um, and the other guys, the young guys, we have we have a bunch of young, talented guys. Uh, they're, they're tall and athletic and can make plays on the football. So uh, really excited about what they bring together, bring to us physically, and just a matter of of those guys coming out each and every day competing 
and, um, and figuring out how they fit us. And you talked a about teaching some of the young guys uh, during these OTAs. A lot of that's happening right on the field as, you know, in between plays. Does that kind of speak to the importance of, of these OTAs for you? And do you, would you work through a lot of that now so you won't have to in training camp? Yeah, the more that we can cover now, the better off we're going to be. You know, I think uh, there's a lot we can take in and learn during this time of the year. Uh, you know, we don't have a game we're trying to prepare for, so we're able to try try new things offensively. Um, the quarterbacks are able to try different things. Those guys, young guys, rookies, are, are able to take in a lot of information, and um, and we can really just focus on, on working the details, coaching them um, through their routes, through their, their blocking schemes, you know, how we're able to to block um, from the outside, you know, it's, it's, it's critical for us with how much we run the football. So being able to cover all those details in, in, a, in a situation where we're not trying to prepare for a game on Sunday, it's huge this time of year. And then obviously the intensity will crank up, you know, once we come back in the fall. Ben Arthur. Hey, Ryan, you've obviously had, you know, a ton of success over the last, you know, season and a half. Um, what, what, what's going to be the key for you? Um, just, you know, kind of maintaining that and, and continuing that upward trajectory with, you know, kind of, as you mentioned, you know, kind of getting the feel for a new offensive coordinator and then losing, you know, some of your key um, pass catchers as well. Yeah, we just have to come together as a team. Uh, I think ultimately what it comes down to is, is a uh, team going out, playing together, believing in each other and executing. So, the standards that we implement now and how we hold people accountable throughout the training camp and, and the fall heading into uh, into Sundays uh, is going to be huge. It's going to be crucial and in, into how our guys buy in, how our team buys in, believes in each other. And um, and ultimately, if we, if we go out, come together and, and make plays in critical moments, that's when you win games. And um, that's what it'll come down to. Corey Curtis. Hey, Ryan, I, I, obviously you rather have AJ out there, but is there an advantage that not having 11 out there forces you to, to, to look for some guys that you may not get the ball to quite as much on the practice field? I think not having AJ gives us opportunities to, to see what some of the other guys we have can do. Uh, we're getting, they're getting more reps. They're getting moved around in, in different spots. Maybe that they wouldn't be getting as many X reps. Uh, so now they're playing X and Z or F and Z or, or whatever it may be. Um, so I think, um, yeah, I, mean, I miss AJ. I love throwing AJ the ball, but there are opportunities that are created by, by him not being out there. So uh, it's been fun to see those those younger guys work, newer guys work, and and going to continue doing that. And it looked like you spent some one on one time w with Josh out there. Is that something that that you're going to have to do here in the in these coming weeks? Yeah, I think so. You know, as I learn, uh, you know, the way he moves and and um, you know his range and, and speed and those types of things. Um, those, those little moments where we get some one-on-one -on -one time together are, are going to be huge, um, you know, as we head into the training camp. We have plenty of time to do it, uh, but if we can sneak some reps in here in the, in the spring, it'll help us you know, down the road. Gentry? Yeah, Ryan, uh, have you and John had any conversations about maybe restructuring? And if not, would you entertain that to help land certain players that might be out there? Yeah, I mean, that's up to John. Um, you know, he's going to have to figure that out if that's something that, that we want to do as an organization. You know, I don't know. That's uh, above my pay grade. Um, but, you know, if he comes to me, then, then we'll have that conversation there. Luke? All right, as a quarterback, how do you – when you have a special talent like A.J., how do you balance making sure you get everything you can out of him with the need to not force the ball and, and spread it around? Yeah, I think, you know, AJ's going to get his, his touches. And I think that just comes with, you know, being the kind of player that he is. And uh, he finds a way to get open. And as a quarterback, you, you love to see that. Um, but the more balanced we can be and more opportunities we can create elsewhere is just going to help us as an offense create a more balanced attack. Obviously, people are going to have to count for Derek, um, AJ, you know, Ferkser, you know, guys where we'll see who can step up and, and um, you know, be the other – uh, attacking parts of our offense that can put pressure on defense. So, um, you know, it's to be determined. We have, we have a lot of work to do and a lot of things to figure out. But, um, you know, excited for the opportunity that we have elsewhere and, and um, you know, excited to see who can step up and, and make those plays for us. Ben Arthur. 